Hello everyone, this is Snicker Today I'm coming at you up from the depths video where I'm going to show off some of my economic vehicles that should help you throughout the campaign. I will be adding all of these to, um, oh crap, Steam Workshop soon. Which, being with which, that's the first thing I'm going to show you fast. For those, which people, a lot of people don't know, how the hell do you get stuff from Steam Workshop? It's right here. You need vehicles, which you have to subscribe to first, planets, and that allows you to just go straight to the browse Steam Workshop. Uh, planet editors right here, and change planets right there. Anyway, let's get on to the vehicles. So the vehicles I'm going to show you are from my faction. Um, and my faction, I like to call the Red Ace, which, you know, you'd know. Whoa. This is Brandon, don't worry about that. So, um, don't worry about these. These are all crap. The ones I want to show you are the Remoras. Alright, I'll get on to the Minnow last. This is called the Remor- the- uh, Let me just- Select- No. It's a problem that I'm having with a lot of these vehicles is they go backwards. God, go fucking forward. Once they go forward, it's fine. Anyway. This is the Remora. The Remora is a submarine that can go down to, I think, about 100 feet. It has a pretty good engine, with a, by pretty good I mean it does what it needs to do. It holds a total of six large torpedoes, and can pretty much take on, it has to keep moving. It will sink slowly, if not moving, but to get it to sink faster, it needs to be moving. Um, as you can see, we got the trackers, and we have a 3D detector there. It also sports a radar on the inside. It goes pretty fast um, with a mix of giant propellers and small propellers. It also has uh, jet stabilizers to make sure it doesn't go, you know, barrel rolling. Now, the main thing about this is that the weapon pods on the right and left of it. The weapon pods on the right and left of it move independent from the rest of the ship. Meaning, if I spawn a water buffalo, these will move to fire at it. Now, at this depth, which is negative 101, it's about right, it is safe from most fire. Now, these are the torpedoes are just fired. Now, I know this is also just deep water guard, and they are, like, the easiest to destroy, but it fires a good enough volley of missiles, uh, torpedoes I should say, torpedoes, I'll show you the construction afterward, uh, this is pretty economic, because it is pretty small, uh, I think the things that would be most expensive on it are probably the torpedoes themselves, ammunition, which after a while, this thing will run out of ammunition, and it does take a few seconds to reload, but the best part is, this sh can go underneath an enemy ship, and stay there, and just shoot vertically, just hit the ammo cache on this, um, it's exploding. Uh, that pretty much is done with this ship. Now this is the Remora A, and the reason it's called the Remora A, it's the first Remora I ever made. Alright, as you can also see, it's pulling up. Stabilizers are pulling it up, so it's going to start gaining. So, yeah, see, it's stuck at negative one, and now it's going to positive. Uh, this is the cheaper one, it's just a basic anti-ship submarine. Um... I just stop it. We're gonna look at how much it costs to get. Look, it's it's really it could be much more expensive, right? Especially when I look at the minnow. God, everything's like ten times more. Um, that is the remora A. Now they're all the Mor remoras are completely different, and the reason they're called the remora, uh, the remora is a fish that feeds off of the leftovers of sharks. So that's why I called it that. Uh, and yeah, and the reason <laughs> we'll get that later. Alright, this, I'll get out of the, oh, crap, I'm sinking, now I have to put it in patrol mode, because I like controlling it, come on, having a bit of problem here, oh, what is the problem here, Let's go. Give me a moment. Destroy all vehicles. Load the more B. Select it. 
Huh. I wonder what the fuck's going on here. Got everything. It's got all the correct shit on it. Nothing. I didn't change any internals. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, that fixed the problem. I was in fleet mode. Really weird. Don't know how I got in fleet mode. Now, this one moves slower than Remora A and Remora C. And that's because it has anti-air missiles. Now, the Remora C is better than this, but the Remora C is much more expensive. The side um, ammo weapon platforms uh, haven't changed from Remora A. The difference is Remora B has much more top armor. It also has weights in the back because the front was a bit heavy somehow. I added missile launchers to the back. The front gets heavier. Don't know. Um, yeah, these are anti-missiles, uh, air missiles. So we're gonna summon something like uh, not. Uh, we're some two golf. They just fly straight out of the uh, the water because they use the bastlas, and they they still are made using similar weaponry of the torpedoes. But they're just made so that you can stay at a, you know, a good depth. Going backwards, aren't you? Stay at a good depth and be able to just... Those are the torpedoes. That's how high the torpedoes can go. Uh, for everyone being like, watch make the torpedoes. Fine, be able to destroy air targets. Well, you'll see that in the next one. I'll show you the more scene. This one is just slightly more expensive than Remora uh, A. That's why I made this. So Remora C is a lot... Is, quite a bit more expensive but pretty much these guys they can't get a fix on the target they're not gonna be able to attack the remora and they just look it just blew up this already the tail should be falling off any moment now and if any of these actually get in the water for any reason torpedoes are just gonna eat them alive oh we are getting fired upon here come the torpedoes. Where's that volley was finishing off of that? Armora's still doing pretty good. Oh, did we have a hit? Was there Armora? Ooh, no, there. That finishes off this one. Let's go quickly check the Armora B and see if we got any sort of damage to it. It did get hit once or twice. Because you can see the darkness on that jet stabilizer. Other than that, this uh, works completely fine. And it's just a slightly more expensive version of the Remora A. Now, let's go to the next one, which is the Remora C. And just like this. Boom. Again. Alright. Ooh, zoom out. This is Remora C. As you can see, the weapon pods on the right and left are much larger than previous Remoras. This one does move the same speed as Remora A. And you might be wondering, well, yeah, what, why, do these, why are these larger? The Remora C fires ballistic missiles. And by ballistic missiles, I mean torpedoes slash missiles. Meaning, let's spawn a, let's spawn a submarine. Uh, let's spawn a submarine. As you can see, whoa, the remora just stays directly underneath it. Some of my missiles went into the air, I believe. Torpedoes. Oh no, that's him. Again, being able to fire these all like that, these will come out of the water if they can't, turn instantly into rockets and be able to smash into the tops of the ships. If the ship is farther underwater though, well, they torpedo. So I just destroyed that submarine. We're gonna do one last test. We're gonna send it against a white flare sh uh, aircraft. What do we got? What do we got? Plane. The harpoon. Where's the harpoon? There's the harpoon. It's firing its missiles. Whoa! Look how close that was. Now we fire our missiles though. 
moment they get out of the water, they become... Whoa, that one... I don't know what was out of those. Boom. Now it's just seeing who can dodge the missiles better. And obviously it's not him. He's taking a bit of damage on his wing and tail. Those, those missiles are catching up with him. Oh, yep, oh, yep, he's gone. That destroyed his ammo can. She lost his entire tail. He's going straight down. This is a white flare aircraft. So this doubles as anti-aircraft and anti-ship. And again, the problem is this is quite a bit more expensive than both of the Remoras. This is the Remora C. These are ballistic missiles. That means that they are seven long and they have ejectors. That's how they... Hit, go up in the air so fast and it takes a while look at the ammo as you can see it takes it can't really do large large fights by itself but usually it can take out singular ships so that is remora the only other ship i want to really show you was the prototype to all of these this is the minnow now by prototype to all these, I mean the minnow is quite literally the prototype. It is extremely slow, does have a good amount of firepower with uh, having five missiles. These aren't ballistic missiles though, meaning they are not useful for uh, shooting air targets. But it is, ma is very heavily armored compared to all the remoras. It has an extru a pretty powerful engine. Uh, called the Slave Engine. It was removed from one of the Striders, um, Steel Strider ships, and then chopped down to size. It has two AI units, which isn't really needed, because usually if one's destroyed, everything's destroyed. This ship, along with all the Remoras, has the fault where if... This one also takes much longer to go down due to the fact that it's actually weight-based. Meaning it doesn't have the... These hydro things. It simply sinks by its own weight. I just lost it. Um, again, very slow. Only going about one speed tops. This was my first submarine. And you know what? For being so shit, I think it could it can be improved. But anyway, that was Ramoros. Definitely posting these on the Steam Workshop. Um, very, very good, basic, simple submarine. Uh, th this is the Remora C. As you can see, look at all that. That's how much ammunition this thing has. I could probably put more ammunition in it, but, you know. It's also very volatile. Pretty much, if this gets hit in the front with, like, another torpedo, it's dead. It'll explode, it'll destroy the AI, this thing. It will actually blow the entire front, off, front end off of this. Leaving just the engine back end, and the weapon pods will literally break off, and they'll just sink to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, the, another problem is, with all of these, they do sink. Because they are submarines, they are quite heavy. This one's on the ocean floor. This one, being only at negative 44, is also, will eventually land on the ocean floor. Because they're so- well actually no, this one won't ever land on the ocean floor. Because this is, um... Yeah, pump based. I could make it where it goes down and then have a pump based, but that's that's pretty much all I have for now. Um, that has been the Remora submarines, A, B, and C. The A is the standard edition, being uh, ship based only. The cheapest of the bunch. B being slightly more expensive, having anti-aircraft weaponry attached to it. And C, being the multi-class it is, being more expensive by quite a bit, and also has the extra armor that the B had, uh, still moves as fast as the A, and is effective against a good amount of ships. It is by no means one of the best submarines. This thing will get torn apart um, if it, it needs to go faster, because lots of ships, like the Kingstead, um, by the Onyx Guards and stuff, if this just, it, death doesn't matter, because the, they fire at such a sp speed, it'll just go straight down, one explosive shot will punch a hole in it, two explosive shots, you've lost your submarine. 
Anyway, everybody, I hope thanks for watching. This has been Nick Riddies, and I'll be doing quite a few more from the depth videos, showing you off what I've made, what uh, my friend Tony's made. And I hope you'll enjoy. This has been the Remora ABC and the Minnow, and their effectiveness in combat. I'll be All these will be posted up on the Steam Workshop with that name. Thank you all for watching. It's been Nick Reddy's, and I'll see you in the next video. Nick Reddy's out!